Scusi, scusi. Here I am. I was just finishing up some antipasti. I just love Italian food, especially here in Vercelli. Now welcome back to the hunt for the Scudetto. Look at my new, fo new font for the text. It is strong, it is rock solid, just like the team of Pro Vercelli. I, I'm looking so much forward to show you how it's going with the team. Let's drill into it. Last time we played against Tanana, which we lost. Our only loss in the season so far. Then we beat Matera, and here he is. After that game, it was 2-2 against Rende. Here from a corner kick, Carlo Che with the corner. Rende removes it, Pinamonte with the ball. He finds Morgia, who hits it the first time. Morgia, he is so dangerous at the moment, playing magnificent. Then of course Pina Monchi scored the other goal, he's getting better all the time. After the Rente game, Murgia picked up an injury, so we had to play Umberto Germano this time. And I can tell you, my midfielders is playing world class at the moment. With Murgia injured, the midfield this time was Germano and Castilla. Castilla did get to be the man of the match, but Umberto Germano scored for 1-0. Here is Canote moving forward, Castilla for Germano, and once again, a beautiful, brilliant long shot from our midfielders who are scoring the goals at the moment. Then Alex scored for 2 0 against Sicula Leoncio. Germano with the ball, finds Pinamonti, Vives, and Castilla. Our midfielders setting it up once again. Finding Calabria, Canote. Crosses it for Pina Monti, who almost gets to it, and Alex scored for 2 0. Then we played against Paganese. Morgia back from injury, then we know what he will do. Morgia returning from injury, and he does what he does best. Here is Alex, the left winger, playing the ball for the right winger, Canucci. Finding Germano, back to Alex. This is just a beautiful setup. Finds Murgia and he won't disappoint. Comes back from his injury and once again here is. He is a goal scorer. At this point of time, our two wingers, Canote and Alex, is playing magnificent with the assists and the goals. We are high flying at the moment. We did beat Paganese 3-1. We did beat Fidlis Andrea. 2-0 and look at this, Murgia just kept on scoring the goals once again, this time against Fidlis Andrea. A kick from Carlo Che, Murgia this time with the header, he can do it everything. And look another assist for Carlo Che, then 3-0 against Trapani, goals from Alex and Carlo Che, the two wingers in our last match, it was against Monopoly. We won 4 1. Two striker goals from Pina Monti, one goal for Alex, one goal for Castilla. Once again, our midfielders is doing the job. This goal from Alex. Calabria into Castilla. Germano. Vives. Here is Germano moving forward. Passing it for Alex. Finds Canoche and he can cross it back to Alex who goes and scores the goal. Mamorella with a corner kick. Bacamelli once again gets to it. This time with a beautiful assist for Castilla who just powers it in and 4 1 against Monopoly. Everything is going down to plan at the moment. This is how the league looks like. We have now 38 points and a gap of 5 points to Tanana. They are the only team who is keeping up with us. Matera has fallen down, Sasatana has moved a bit up. But it could look like it's going to be against these two teams. It's going to be decided later on in the season. But let's get on with today's episode. We are heading to Regina, who's in 15. So we have to keep on winning these games. This is the team. Actually, I will say it is the strongest team at the moment. I could put Germano in there, no problem. But these three guys, a 
playing amazing, every one of them. Then I have to show you Dramane Konate, our 23-year-old central defender. He's quite quick for this level. He got decent mentals and he got what he needs in the defense department. He's been playing good. I started to give him some playing time, scoring one goal. So we will play him more instead of the two very experienced defenders, William Jidai and Dario Bagamelli. But not today, we are travel traveling to Regina. Here we have the two teams. Pretty defensive formation from Regina. But at the moment, our attack is just on a high roll. It just works perfect all over. Here we, here we are at the beautiful big stadium in Regina. Here is a corner kick from Regina after one minute. And if they get a header on it, it's just wide of goal. It's very important to get this win today. We can't let Tanana into the title race. Corner from Mamarella. Oh, Castilla hits it. Very close. Vives trying to find a Provocello player, but no luck this time. We keep the position. Chitai moving it forward from Murgia, Castilla. Alex, he's been playing brilliant. Take a look at this guy, finding Pinamonchi, setting up the assist almost. Calabria will throw in. Calabria, one cross. Castilla for Vives. Here is Morgia who will finish it. Vives with the shot. Here we are, Mamorella. Castilla. Pinamonchi is out there. Alex, finding Canute. And Morgia with the finish. There's not been a lot of highlights in the first half. What a boring first half, just like last time when we started out with the first live com. I'm, I'm seeing a pattern here. Let's change that and score some goals in the second half, please. This needs to get a lot better guys, I'm disappointed, it's every time we are we are coming with a live com, we are playing like shit, so please pick it up, this is a must win game for us guys, Alex finds Morgia, two of the hottest players at the moment, here is a throw in, Mamorella, Castilla, can we set something up, Pinamonti, you need to be in the box my man, but we have Canucci in there, at the right winger. Good chance. We're in totally control here, we just need to score the goals. Alex and Alessandro Mogia at the moment, they are playing fantastic. Mamorella free kick, always dangerous, and this time it is William Jidai with the goal. And another free kick assist from Carlo Mamorella. First goal of the season. Or is it the second for William Jidai, our central defender? Mamorella with the beautiful free kick. Jidai gets to it and just powers it in. 1-0. Today it was a central defender who should open the goal scoring account. Mamorella once again finds Castilla. That's a shot on goal, kinda. Maybe, maybe we should do a substitution or a two in a moment. Here is Regina, we haven't seen them at all, setting some attacks up, maybe here comes something, Sivkov, close him down, there is Piliacelli with the punch, and Calabria, we can play the ball out of the trouble, out of defense, Castilla moves it forward, finding Alex, what will he do, he will challenge is it into Pinamonti, what a great pass. And here is again Alex, being tackled in the last moment. Corner kick, Alex with the ball. We're piling on the pressure right now. Vives, let's get something out of this. Castilla with a goal, look at Castilla. 2-0 we are up, and here we go. Another goal from a midfielder. The three midfielders is playing out of this world at the moment. 
Alex just keeps on piling the balls into the box. Vives picks it up. Regina is pressed all the way back. Look at this pass from Vives and Canastilia. This is beautiful, guys. Now let's, let's rest some of you. Here comes the substitutions. Paguero in for Castilla, Rovini in for Canote, Fresh legs. Schiamana on his own. What a play. Finds his... And uh, Pigliacelli just picks up that ball. I'm so happy with my goalkeeper. He's so solid. Alex with the heel and everything. Give Alex the ball, guys. Paguero. Morkia. Vives. Rovini. Can he do something? He can set Pignamonti up and it is 3-0. Pignamonti got the goal today. Very important. Our striker gets some goals. And this was an assist for Emanuele Rovini, the substitute. Paguero, the other substitute. Finding Morkia. Vives. Here is Rovini. He finds Pignamonti with a great pass. Gets it on with his knee. And it is 3-0. Vives with a corner kick, four minutes added, Paguero gets the ball, back to Vives, here is Alex, finds Comey, you are, oh this is beautiful Comey, beautiful assist for Bergamelli, our central defender scoring his third goal of the season. This was just pure samba ball, Paguero picks up the ball, runs out to the left flank, there's Vives, finding Alex, Look at Comey, turning around, finding there Bergamelli with the pass. 4-0, what a game. Second half, much better than the first. Morkia gets it. Here is Regina with a big chance. Oh, we have to get that clean sheet, guys. Don't give them those chances. Mamarella. Paquera, Alex. Now Sasatana, 1-0 against Tanana. We're expanding our gap for Tanana and Sasatana is the third place. So they're challenging now. But we can't even further the gap to Tanana with this victory. Very important. And let's get that clean sheet, guys. It is over, 4-0 for Provocelli. Four goals in the second half, we really did get to it. Excelente. Now Tanana did lose for Sasatana. So we, the gap is even larger now. This is how it should be. We need that first position to, get, to gain the straight promotion. Let me show you how the players is doing at the moment. As I told you, Dario Bagamelli scored his third goal, the highest he ever scored. And look at the rating from Bagamelli, it's also class. Carlo Mamarella, our very experienced left fullback, he's created two assists, he was man of match for one game, he got a great average rating, and the midfielders. Giuseppe Vives the injured, he's playing so solid at the defensive midfield. Luca Castiglia, 13 games, 3 goals, 2 assists, 2 man of matches, 7.40. That is solid. And then we have, of course, Alessandro Morgia. 13 games, 5 goals, 1 assist, 3 man of matches, 7.52. That is magnificent. And Umberto Giamana, Giamano, who started out the season brilliantly. He got 13 games, 3 goals, 4 assists and 2 man of matches, 7.33. The midfielders is amazing. Then the wingers also, Alex, he really picked it up. Coming back from his injury at the start of the season, scoring 5 goals, 6 assists, 4 man of matches. He's playing magnificent also. The other winger, Mamadou Kanote, he did win this position. We had three players fighting for the right winger and he'd been scoring four goals, three assists. Really doing great. Playing fantastic with Alex. And Pignamonti, our young striker on loan from Inter. 
He's picked it up. He should be able to score some more goals. But he assisted a bit also. So we're really, really happy with these guys. Everything is going down to plan. If we can keep the core of this team, maybe uh, retire some of the older players, I'm sure we can uh, and add some pieces. I'm sure we can do the same in the Serie B. 4-0 victory today. The mood in the squad is in top form. We are so great. Everybody's happy and I am too. Thank you for watching my series The Hunt for the Scudetto. Let's get Pro Vicelli back on top as soon as possible. Please smash that subscribe button and like this episode if you're down with it. Until next time, see you guys.